Hi and welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. We've got a very exciting little test here today. We've got two passive, uh, the cooled, high efficiency LED grow lights. We've got the Optic One, just received in today. And we've got the, the Mago 100. So we're gonna test them off beside each other and show you the results. You can see um, both the lights uh, are a mid color temperature, full spectrum lights. Both three and a half thousand K color temperature, both suitable from growing from seed to harvest. Uh, both lights are passive. So this, uh, the Optic One has a pin fin heat sink. The Migro 100 has a uh, fin heat sink. Uh, the pin uh, heat sink here has the driver mounted on the back. And in the Migro case, we have the driver separate with the um, extension cables available. And of course we have um, dimming on the driver there, you can see. There's no dimming on the Optic One. In terms of chips, LED chips, the Optic One is using a Cree uh, CB3590, I think. I'm not sure what bin, but it's, it's definitely highly efficient. The Migo uses a Luminous LED. That's a US company, Luminous. Uh, both both top-in uh, high-end LEDs. Uh, what else we got? The optics. So the optic one uses a, a clear lens, quite narrow and defined. You can see a very obvious outline to where the light is being spread. The micro uses a diffuse lens, so it's got um, patterns on the lens, and that uh, diffuses the light or softens the light out a little bit. But um, both very similar, holding at exactly the same heights here. You can see the optic is a narrower lens, very defined. The micro is a wider spread of light and um, and softer, uh, designed that way for for better penetration into the uh, plant canopy and um, less likelihood of hot spots. You can hang it a little bit lower because of the wider spread. Um, and the big thing then is efficiency, of course. So we've tested them both in a two by two, so our 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter area. Both tested at 30 centimeters or 12 inches, one foot hanging height. As I said, with reflective walls outside and tested with our, our Apogee SQ500 sensor. We took a uh, uh, four by four, so 16 measurements across the, the grow area. And I have to say, Optic One has done fantastic. It's beaten uh, my grow. It's a slim margin now, but Optic One came out at 2.04 micromoles per watt PPFD, which is the best of any light we have tested to date. So it's an, it's an excellent result. The Migro is 2% behind, <laughs> frustratingly, but it is at uh, two micromoles per watt. So uh, the Optic One just pips it. I would say, as, as I said, in, in defense of Migro um, for uh, not winning out on the efficiency battle, you do get that diffusion of the light and the slightly wider spread, and um, you get the, uh, the dimmer functionality too. Just in terms of output, as I said, they're very closely matched for efficiency. The Optic One is a 54 watt light, um, which is uh, specified for a two by two uh, for flower. Uh, the Migro is, is just nearly double that, it's about 110 watts. Uh, it will vary a little bit depending on your voltage, so 107 to 110 watts. But uh, pretty much twice as powerful. Uh, the Migro is a little bit more expensive than the Optic One, but you're getting um, pretty much double the, uh, the power output for about 20% extra in the price. So. Uh, yeah, that's all I can think of to say about the two lights. Really nice light, love the package. Uh, simple, but, but using high quality components, so it's, it's an excellent light and uh, it's been a great challenger and enjoyed testing it. So any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.